Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. At this point, we've pretty much got content going out on a daily or weekly basis. So don't stay stuck with your business. And if you need more help uh, with your business and you want to connect with me, then visit the description below this video. There's a number of ways that you will be able to get my one-on-one uh, -on -one help and connect with me. So today's video, I want to talk about creating cash flow in your soccer coaching business. Now, a common problem that a lot of coaches have in this industry is making their business or turning their business into a cash flow type of system. Okay, so what I mean by cash flow is creating an income or a revenue stream that is paying you every single month. Okay, so I'm going to share with you four very simple ways that you can create cash flow within your soccer coaching business so that it becomes sustainable, so that it's earning you money every single uh, month, and so that you are essentially building a long term type of business rather than a week to week business. Okay, so before I get into it, I want to share with you guys a common, a couple of common problems that I see in this industry. When I speak to uh, coaches in soccer, when I work with coaches at the beginning phases. So most coaches out there in this industry, what they're currently doing is they are running their business on a cash model. Okay, so cash model is a model that you turn the coach is turning up to the session, they're running the session, and then after the session, they're getting paid by the client. Okay, now that's completely, you know, that's that's a fine model if you want to run it that way. But ultimately, what's going to happen is in the long term, it's not going to be sustainable because you're essentially allowing customers to pay you when they want. Even though they turn up to your sessions, that still doesn't guarantee that they will pay you for those sessions. I've had a lot of clients that I've worked with in the past that they are working with customers, they train that parent's child, and then on the day of the session, the parent turns up to the session and they forget to bring the money. And they say to the coach, oh, I'll bring it next week. And then next week they don't show up and then they don't show up again. And essentially that coach has lost money from a session and, and work that he has completed. So building cash flow is just essentially a way where you can build a more sustainable type of business um, where you're creating revenue on a monthly basis. And I'm going to be sharing with you a number of ways, right? So the first one is offer multiple types of services. Okay, so go back to the hundreds of videos that I've already created and um, where I talk about offering different, um, different and multiple types of training services. So this could be one on one training, this could be group training, uh, this could be running monthly camps and clinics. So if you are offering multiple types of services, that means that you are uh, able to create different revenue streams within your business. So if one month your one-on-one -on -one training program doesn't do well, you don't get a lot of customers and uh, new clients for it, but on the other hand, you're, you've got a group training session that's running and that's growing, then that group training is what will help you to sustain the business going forward until the one-on-one -on -one training starts to pick up again. Okay, so having multiple uh, training uh, offers is not just going to help your business to create that cash flow where if one service isn't working too well that month, you've got another one to, to fall back on. But also when your customers come to you, it's a way of you being able to keep them. Because if, if a parent connects with you and 
they may not want to do your one-on-one -on -one training, but they want to do your group. If you don't offer groups, then you could end up losing that customer. So having multiple offers um, will, will and is a way of creating cash flow within your soccer training business. Now, the next one, if you have a look in front, uh, I've put memberships and subscriptions. So turn in your multiple ser training services into a, a monthly membership and subscription model. Okay, so this is something that our company here at Make Money Coaching Sports, we're very good at. And this is something we help uh, the coaches that we work with. How can we create our or how can we turn our one on one training into a monthly membership or monthly subscription type of model where we're getting paid every single month for our service rather than you having to ask the parent every session to pay you essentially cash you're creating an online platform that is charging and billing the parent automatically and it ultimately you're creating a program that it becomes they your customers become a member of rather than just a one-off customer okay so if you want to learn more on how to turn your one-on-one -on -one program or your group program or your camps and clinics into a membership type of model then visit description below uh, we can jump on a call and I can show you how you can do that, right? Now, the third one is expand revenue streams, okay? So when I talk about expanding revenue streams, essentially this is selling parents onto other types of um, products. So if we have a look at expand revenue streams, I've put selling training gear. So something that I did with my business is when parents register onto and when I onboard new parents into my training program, a condition is that they have to purchase the training uniform, right? So the training gear. So you can add that at, on top of your total amount when parents register, or you can add it as an add on. The way I like to do it is I like to add it all to the total amount. So to give you a very simple example, if a parent is registering onto my training program and the total amount to register is $50, say, but the training uniform, so the shirt, the shorts, maybe the socks, that costs $30, I add it on top of the total. So essentially what parents are paying at the beginning is they're paying not just the registration fee and the joining fee, but they're also paying for the training gear as well. Okay, so that's another way of creating extra cash flow into your business because you're making money off of your training gear. Okay, now on top of training gear, you can also uh, sell branded merchandise. Okay, so if parents need to purchase some shin guards or shin pads, um, if you have, I know some coaches, they've got uh, partners, partnerships with local, uh, local soccer uh, gear stores, right? So any kind of branded merchandise that parents want to buy whether it be they want they might want to buy a soccer ball okay you could provide or you could create a store where you sell a soccer ball if they want to buy a uh, training equipment such as maybe they want to buy some cones to be able to do some of your training at home then you can sell branded merchandise to those parents okay so essentially creating a store where you're not just selling your training gear, such as uh, the training jersey, the training shorts, maybe hat, um, uh, gloves, everything that is training gear um, branded, but also you're selling merchandise and equipment that they can then go and do at home.
Okay, so such as a soccer ball, a cones, so forth. Now, something that a coach that I work with does really well is he sells a branded backpacks. So every player that joins the program has to purchase a branded backpack. Now, why that's a good way of marketing is because when that coach, coach's client goes to school or goes to club training, right, and they're showing up with the backpack, loads of parents and kids are seeing that brand. And when they see that brand, then they might ask the child questions. They might write, what's this training program? Who's your coach? What's this about? Or parents might ask questions. Okay, so it's a it's a free way of essentially marketing and branding your company to get more exposure to new parents. Okay, now the fourth one is local schools and clubs. So forming local partnerships with clubs and schools is another great way of creating a monthly cash flow into the business. So you could go into local schools, form a partnership with schools and do after school clubs. Okay, so you could do after run after school clubs, have a contract with that school, and that school essentially is paying you every month for you to go in there and run sessions for them. Same with clubs. Okay, I know I know a lot of uh, trainers out there that go into clubs and run clinics. They run camps for clubs, or they run. A training sessions for, for specific age groups and teams within the club. And what, what happens is that that coach then bills the club on a monthly basis for their service. Okay. So that's just another simple way of creating cash flow within your training and coaching business. Now, the next one co host training camps and player development workshops. So this is um, very similar to the first point, which is form local partnerships, but it's more specific to how can we now utilize other coaches within your area who you could say are competitors, but how can you now co-host a training camp together on a monthly basis? So if you know that another coach in your area has a lot of influence with parents and players, you could come to some type of agreement to run a monthly clinic together where you're both leveraging off each other's audience. So you're bringing in, bringing uh, that your, the other coach is bringing in their audience, you're bringing in yours, you're, you're doing a camp or clinic together and essentially you, you can make and create a contract where you split a percentage each depending on what you guys agree on and if it's really successful then this is something that you can run on a monthly basis to create cash flow into your business okay thank you for watching and if you need more help again visit description below this video you can communicate with me connect with me and if you want to book a call with me Again, description below will be the best way to do that. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.